So for your duck legs, what we want to do is trim off pockets of fat that might be hanging off the sides. Want to season these on both sides with salt and pepper. Put them in a preheated 350 degree oven, fat side up. In about an hour and a half, they should be nice and brown. Butternut squash in the oven with our duck. That'll take 15, 20 minutes or so. You want duck to be in pieces about inch and a half, two inch size pieces. Coconut milk is a vehicle to carry flavors. It's got a lot of richness, sort of tempers the heat of the curry. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken stock to cut that a little bit. We'll add in our lemongrass, which is in big chunks. It's sort of assumed in Thai culture. It's known that people wouldn't eat this. Think of it as the bay leaf in your soup pot. And the other component of Thai cooking that is important and something's missing if it's not used in a dish, but a little bit of fish sauce provides the, the saltiness. A little bit of brown sugar helps offset the saltiness, helps balance out the flavors. That's got some heat. Julianne's gonna kill me. Also, we're gonna sprinkle some herbs on. You could use cilantro. Uh, I have Thai basil, which is slightly different than Italian basil. Tear that up, sprinkle it in. hot spot for Pinot Noir right now. It goes really well with this. I think the acidic backbone of the wine really goes nicely and it also pumps up the concentration of the fruit with the dish. The acidity sort of helps with the heat which usually we don't do a lot of spicy food but this does have a nice firm acidity to it and I think that helps to marry the two. I love Anderson Valley. Warm during the day and then it can drop like 40 to 50 degrees at night. Foggy in the morning and then again warm in the afternoon. Perfect climate for a growing Pinot Noir. It retains the acidity and all that fresh fruit concentration in the wine. It's got a lot, and a lot of dark fruit characteristics. Exactly. Um, it's got a lot of character to it. A lot of concentration. Keep all of our blocks separate. Each block is, is generally a different clone, a different rootstock. A lot of different layers of complexity to the fruit from, from the clones, from the rootstocks and also from the different French oak that we use. It's a lot of competing flavors here, which can be quite challenging for a lot of wines, but I think the heat, hopefully balance that out a little bit with, like there's the fish sauce, so that, that salty component. There's the sweetness of the butternut squash, sort of the earthiness pick up from, from the spinach to help offset some of those characteristics. Just as you talk about, and I, I hear Toby in the vineyards talking about balance in the vine, and when you're making your blends, you're, you're talking about balance in the glass. To me, this is a dish where you're also sort of shooting for, for that balance, because any one out of proportion, I think, is not successful. Exactly. It is a beautiful match. I think the complexity of the dish and the complexity of the wine they just match each other perfectly in intensity, and it's really, really great. It's got some heat. That's what I don't give you a lot of the curry. I mean, Thai chilies, which they would use for that, are smoking hot. Glad you enjoy it. So, Thank you. Cheers.